<laughs> I'm way too late. Root is the same fucking inheritor, and then. Really? Yeah, There's only know, one different know. person. There's only one fucking different person. Come on. Man. Alright, so the title may be a bit misleading, because for the most part I'm just going to put your boy Slims here on blast, but I do cover some general things about modding, so yeah, fucking for those people who've been telling me, yo, you should make a video about mods and how they're gay and shit, here you go. So quick disclaimer before people decide to jump to conclusions, no, this guy didn't hack me or boot me offline or anything like that. I've never even seen the guy in the lobby, let alone get hit off by him. I'd only heard of him once and it was a YouTube video of him getting fucking rotted. It was so bad, even Actman liked it. You know you're bad when even popular YouTube content creators are openly supporting a video that fucking publicly roasts you. In a day and age where pro PC fucks will do anything they can to make sure you lose your job if they disagree with you. Like, I'm surprised Actman doesn't have a fucking mob of SJW saying, Get Actman off YouTube because he supports online bullying or some stupid fucking exaggerated ass shit. But yeah, after that, I totally forgot the guy even fucking existed until a fan hit me up explaining to me how much of a fucking bottom of the barrel, lowest common denominator, piece of shit, scum of the earth this guy Slim Shady Mods is. <laughs> I'm not even gonna get into debunking how this guy thinks he's this fucking genius at modding either because Gamer Cheat already did that. Gamer Cheat's the one who made the video roasting Slim by the way. But yeah, Cheat showed us in his video about him roasting Slim that Slim's UI is objectively bad, bland, uninspired with an overabundance of tabs, and his mods aren't revolutionary or anything to be wowed over in the slightest. All his content is basically fucking trash. I'm not even gonna get into how ugly this nigga is bro, are you fucking kidding me? Gamer Cheat already did that. Gamer Cheat roasted this fat ninja turtle looking ass gay Elmer Fudd sounding ass nigga, bro. Fuck this. Like, there's gonna be haters, right? <laughs> Oops, my fault. <laughs> yo, and before I get mentioned in another one of his hater videos, <laughs> yo, about that, the fact that you be out here passing off anybody who criticizes you as a hater just goes to show how sheep minded you are, by the way. Somebody doesn't like you or what you do? Hater. I don't know, man. Could it be because you're hindering other people's gaming experiences via outside source to give yourself an unfair advantage so that you can feed this power fantasy of yours, stroking your own ego with impressive feats that are literally being done for you, hence rendering the feat unimpressive, reflecting your horrible standards as a person? Nah, it can't be. Could it be because you use this undeserved power to try to manipulate people through some ultimatum? to make them do what you want or boot them offline for days on end if they don't do as you say? Of course not, they're just haters, right? You're a saint, right Slim? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> it really goes to show how many brain cells this fucking dipshit is missing. That's kind of funny because that's like implying that this stupid fuck ever had him to begin with. Fucking thirsty fuck. This nigga's so drunk off of his artificial power and authority that he even tries to use it to get at girls, bro. That's the saddest shit I've ever heard in my life, guy. <laughs> All right, let me chill out, let me chill out. I'm gonna be real here for a second. There's a chance that the shit that I'm about to show you could be fake and maybe it's just someone trying to blackmail Slim. But I mean, if you look at his videos and his response to his so-called haters that he apparently doesn't give two shits about, yet he made a whole video addressing them, hence contradicting that very same statement. Like, there's so much shit that he does that showcases his clear lack of intellect that a clear connection could be made with his videos and the conversations I'm about to show you. And there's a chance that this is all just one big gimmick and Slim's actually this fucking genius who's been trolling us all along. In which case, 10 out of 10, you're cool, dude, and I'll delete this whole video. So, on to the conversation. So the first screenshot's just the fan and the harassed girl discussing if it's worth making the shit public. You sure this won't get me in deep shit with Shady? Like, he won't do shit? Shady's hella stupid, honestly. There's no telling what he'll do. But I see this as a good way of getting rid of him. I'm personally sick of hearing every day he gets on that he's harassing you and your boyfriend. It's fucking stupid and it needs to stop now. And then the next screenshot, this is the one with <laughs> Shady, as you can already tell by his fucking horrible spelling. I never threat you. Please don't do that. You just hit my lobby because I didn't do what you want. No, because you never join me when I tell you to. It's always what you want. I asked you to join mine and you said no. What's the difference? <laughs> Yo, so literally right off the bat, look at this guy's spelling. You know, don't get the wrong idea. I've always thought grammar Nazis were fucking stupid as fuck. Like, if you know what someone said, and it was like a well-made point or some shit, fuck you need to correct them for it. Like, 
it's so pointless and it just makes you look really edgy desperately trying to stroke your own ego because your parents ignored you or whatever the fuck it's like that one person who walks into a room full of people watching wrestling and having a good time and he's like <laughs> wrestling's fake like whoa holy shit i've been fucking enlightened <laughs> but it's kind of funny he like adds z's to his words and shit just like he did to his middle school-esque gamer tag it's as if this guy's still stuck in the days of myspace when everyone typed like this besides the cringe spelling though check this dictator ass shit out this dude literally hit this girl offline simply because she didn't join his game like think about this shit for a second you want somebody to play with you right and since they don't want to you hit them offline which literally goes against the initial thing you wanted from them now they really can't play with you this person doesn't want to play with me fine i'll hit him offline <laughs> it's kind of like those people who don't really want to end the relationship but as soon as they hear that their significant other wants to fall back they hit up their significant other dubbing them and shit just so they could be like yeah i didn't get dubbed i dubbed them and then he tries to twist the situation around to make himself look like he has the moral high ground like it's always what you want always what she wants bro you fucked with somebody else's internet against their own volition because they didn't do what you want how can you be this fucking blind to your own hypocrisy guy this is why i think this could be a gimmick because it's so stupid it's suspicious but i mean then again there are sjw's who constantly contradict their own beliefs and shit so i mean it's possible that you know maybe slim's just this fucking retarded anyway moving on i asked you to stop hurting me and you're still going offline you go leave me alone and there we go again i gave you a chance and all you do is type paragraphs 24 hours understand you understand I'm tired of you doing this to me and not stopping. You haven't changed at all. I asked you to stop and you won't. I asked you to stop too. So again, it's just Slim trying to justify fucking with other people's shit by playing the victim. And to add on, he's like, leave me alone. When throughout this whole conversation, he's the one who sends the majority of texts. Oh, the irony. Funny how he gets mad over paragraphs too, but I mean like, if I was a fucking illiterate who can't even write a somewhat cohesive sentence at at least kindergarten standards, I'd fucking hate paragraphs too. You blew your chance, you aren't coming back until you stop this stupid stuff. Good night. Night. Case in point already, the conversation should have ended right then and there, but this fucking creep persists. Tell me who's not leaving who alone again? Still refuse to apologize. Let me know when you want to stop typing these long messages and saying all these things, and then we can talk and I'll let you play. I mean, you just sent the long message yourself and I have nothing to apologize for. Offline until you do. <laughs> Yo, Slim gets wrecked and has his own hypocrisy exposed to him and instead of owning up to it like a fucking man, he ignores it and immediately shifts the convo in a way where he can stroke his own ego again. <laughs> This shit is so fucking pathetic. And to further expose this dipshit's lack of intellect, there's something called argument from incredulity, which is basically, I don't understand this thing, so therefore it's stupid. And you shady expressed just that by passing off everything that she said as stupid stuff, simply because you're too fucking retarded and blinded by your own ego to even try to understand it. Like, to be honest, there's really not much else that could be said. Like, this shit speaks volumes by itself. Like, some of this shit just leaves me speechless, to be honest. Clearly, this guy doesn't know how to talk to girls like at all he continues to bombard her with messages even though she gives him dry responses after dry responses slim's such a sore fucking loser he even hits her boyfriend off and later threatens to make all her private information public shit like her address credit card info and shit like that like isn't that shit illegal and eventually the girl finally blocks him and slim goes so far as to try and pose as one of her friends just to try to get to her like yo this is some obsessive ass stalker ass shit. Yo, cue the Mariah Carey right now, bro. Nah, but on some real shit, you know, yeah, you're right to a certain extent, Slim. No matter what, you'll always come across haters, but there's a difference between negative criticism and blind hate. And clearly, you can't tell the fucking difference, and you know, that doesn't surprise me at all. Most of your haters don't hate you for no reason, bro. They hate you because of the shit that I just mentioned a second ago. You're a fucking egomaniac with fucking obsessive problems who uses mods to stroke his own ego and manipulates people. You're literally a fucking degenerate, kid. And then when you get called out, you want to play the victim. Well, I don't know why people hate me like some fucking third wave first world feminist or SJW. Fucking cuck. And to make shit even worse, Slim is like, what? what is he? Is he like 20, 22 years old? Bro, this girl's not even 18 yet. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> what the fuck?
seriously though nah no bullshit that ass how does that happen like do your parents like shelter you as a kid did you not go outside did you not have any friends growing up what happened to you slim so i'm saying like it's either slim is really fucking weird and has like some serious fucking issues or whatever the fuck or he's like one of the greatest trolls i've ever seen in which case i'm sending him a fucking friend request but nah no bullshit though let me let me chill out you know being around the internet for so long teaches you a few things. There's a saying that goes a little something like, don't feed the trolls, and it basically means don't waste time on people who aren't worth wasting your time on. And you can use that and apply it to other real life shit, kind of like this one scene in the boondocks where they factor in a white person into a nigga moment. Prick. Watch where you walking, bitch! What did you- Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm white! <laughs> Where you going? Don't you ignore me? This is a perfectly good moment to throw your life away. And the white dude just walks away. And he walks away because he realizes. He realizes it's not worth wasting your time on a fucking toxic ass stranger because then you're just stooping down to their level. And then the joke's on you and you look equally as dumb and almost as equally as belligerent as the person who's trying to pick a fight with you. So... Why I said that is because it's basically how I would have treated Slim, an obvious idiot not even worth wasting my time on, but after the shit my fan brought to light, this fucking guy needs to get called out, and shunned along with every other modder who abuses mods in the same way this fucking faggot does, because then they ruin your gaming experience, something that again, you pay for. So in order to do that, there's this one argument I need to debunk. And it's this little lazy argument that brain dead fucks like Slim and his useful idiots like to make to try and justify fucking up other people's experiences. A little argument that goes something along the lines of, no one cares, it's a dead game. Not much new needs to be said for this, to be honest. I'm pretty sure this dumb fucking argument has been debunked several times. Literally the same argument I made for why peace matches in Griffball are bad. It alienates players old and new from wanting to play the game. The game didn't just die by itself. You guys exploiting these mods and matchmaking and in parts of the game where they don't belong are the ones actively killing the game. <laughs> Easy. Literally all you have to do is put yourselves in the shoes of the person on the receiving end of your bullshit like an ethical human being and see how this shit's discouraging. Games don't just die by themselves. Most of the time, it's either something game breaking that remains ignored by developers or the community kills it. In Reach's case, it's definitely both, but nowadays I'd say it's the latter. Reach's community is for the most part cancer as fuck, you know, like, nobody disagrees with that. All the other shit that's alienating, peace matches and griff ball, assassination lobbies with their fucking pointless as fuck ass player established etiquette, and their corny sign language and their fucking overinflated social statuses, all that shit may be alienating, but not nearly as bad as modders, and let me explain why. A few years ago, someone commented on my first AT rant, saying something along the lines of AT is cancer, Reach just needs to die, to which I responded to saying something along the lines of, I agree, AT is cancer as fuck, but if keeping Reach's servers on with a concurrent population means putting up with AT shit, then so be it. It can exist. And I said that because at the end of the day, I'm not forced to play AT. Hold up, I gotta fix that real quick. Cause that just made me sound like one of those ignorant, useful idiots who say, if you don't like a game, don't play it. That shit's bad, because if people did that, it would allow problems to remain. No one would have said anything about the Star Wars Battlefront 2 issue with its loot boxes. No one would have said anything about Destiny 2's intentionally fucked XP gains and fucked three of coins to further incentivize microtransaction purchases and the plethora of other predatory, underhanded shit going on with that evil as fuck ass franchise. And with none of those issues being brought up into the light, <laughs> pun intended, many other people would have fell victim to the same trap and the corporations would continue making money off their anti-consumer practices. That's why it's important to publicly criticize. But yeah, just had to let y'all know I'm not one of those people. Anyway, as I was saying before I rudely interrupted myself, I can always play something else. If I come across an AT kid in Team Slayer, the same kind of cucked a social AT kid who does all the fucking gay shit I bitched about, what the fuck is he gonna do? Nothing. Why? Cause you ain't hoes here, boy. You can't kick me because I hurt your sensitive little feelings like the cuck you are by killing you in a game where the objective is just that. Fucking pussy. You can't say the same shit for toxic modders like Slim. He'll fly around and aimbot you in AT, and he can and will do the same shit to you in Team Slayer too. The kid has footage of himself doing it. Toxic modders affect more than just one part of the game. I mean, 
AT kids do too look at Griffball and multi-team, but that shit takes time. The benefits of Griffball peace matches was known years ago, before Assassination Tower ever became popular. And only recently, within like the past year or so, it's definitely a lowball, has it taken over the Griffball playlist. And it's not because the number of peace match players drastically increased out of nowhere and outgrew the number of non-peace match players. It's because the number of normal, <laughs> non-roleplay obsessed Reach players in general have been dropping over the years and it has finally hit the this tipping point where the effect on Griffball was significant. And once it hits that halfway point, it's kind of like the singularity, when an AI is as smart as a human and becomes a god in less than a week because it's seemingly limitless access to most human knowledge. Nerdy analogy, I know. I use that analogy because even before it hits that halfway point, the amount of peace matches is already so significant that you start asking yourself if it's even worth it because 4 out of 10 of your games are gonna turn out to be you doing absolutely nothing. Nowadays, I can't find a single fucking game where people are like legit playing Griffball. Shit, I guess the peace match to non-peace match player ratio today is probably like six, maybe even seven out of 10, but don't quote me on that, that's a guess. It took AT kids that long to ruin one playlist because of all the barriers they had to go through spreading info through word of mouth and other obstacles and shit. Modders don't really need to worry about that kind of shit nearly as much as fucking AT kids gotta worry about that shit. The only barriers for modders are developers still monitoring the game. AT players need a massive amount of players to ruin something, whereas you only need one modder to ruin something. And since Reach is no longer monitored, people like Slim will always get away with it. Sure, it's the developer's responsibility to monitor and keep a game alive, but when those developers abandon the game, that responsibility falls onto the player. And how can you, the player, do something about this fucking faggot? Do to him what everyone else did with that fucking one Call of Duty Infinite Warfare trailer. Dislike the fuck out of all his videos. A sad, insecure fuck like this kid still relies on others to justify his fucking shitty ass existence. So this will probably hurt him. That, and whenever he joins your lobby, leave. Leave this fucking sad piece of shit by himself so he has enough time to think about what a fucking sad, miserable piece of shit he is. Ooh, there's no need for bullying. Just talk to him. People have already tried talking to him. <laughs> People have told him the exact same shit that I'm saying and it makes no difference. It goes out one ear and out the other. He's a fucking egomaniac. Did you forget that? He exploits mods to stroke his own ego, to feed this fucking power fantasy, power that he can't otherwise attain through skill alone. And the reason why he most likely continues to do it is most likely because of two things. He has more likes than dislikes on his videos. Positive reinforcement, a concept of operant conditioning, reinforcing a certain reward. In this case, likes or comments expressing support as a direct result of certain behavior to further encourage said behavior to happen in the future. This behavior being exploiting mods. So yeah, people may have talked to him and criticized him for his actions, but the amount of people who have done so is so few and far in between compared to the people who support him, so he feels more inclined to continue doing that toxic shit he does. If you remove that stimuli and show him that he's in fact hated by way more people than not, we might actually see a difference. Second, take away that feeling of triumph. Don't even give him the chance to fucking experience that shit. If you see this piece of shit in your lobby, leave. And definitely don't join his party or private chat, otherwise he'll have your IP and he'll be able to boot you off whenever for days on end just because some rando who was wearing the same secondary color as you killed him and his dumbass thought that you knew him and influenced said rando's actions somehow. But don't leave only for your own sake, but for the psychological impact. And as a bonus, don't even send him any hate messages or any hate-filled comments on his videos. Don't even acknowledge this motherfucker's existence in any way besides flooding his videos with dislikes, alright? It all goes back to not feeding the troll. A troll's only purpose is to piss you off, and they can't do that if you ignore him. That's how you treat this guy, like a troll, because that's essentially what he is, a troll. Now you may be thinking this video is a bit counterproductive, because I'm essentially doing the same shit that I'm telling you not to do. But just like the don't feed the troll saying, you can do something about it without helping their gain. A good reviewer will buy a game and criticize it and tell you not to play it, even though he bought the game and played the game. But had the reviewer not played the game, he wouldn't be able to make unbiased, informed opinions. Well, unless if he's given objective, informative information by passionate players who play and know the game, which is essentially what this video is. Hopefully that helps you understand. Sometimes, you know, somebody has to take one for the team to bring attention to something that's ultimately bad and inform others to make sure they stray away from said bad shit before said bad shit becomes normal. 
It shouldn't be normal for a game that's no longer monitored to be modded into the fucking ground. It only got that way because people generally accepted the dumb argument of it's a dead game so who cares, especially because it's modders like Slim who are the ones who put the last nail in the coffin by turning the game into this fucking unrecognizable fuckfest to the point where the game loses all of its charm. We shouldn't just let old games die just because they're old, what the fuck kind of thinking process is that? Especially when a lot of games today are lacking the same passion and integrity as Reach. Back when games shipped complete at launch and didn't have fucking underhanded predatory practices desperately trying to milk you of your cash at every turn. Old games lives matter too, bro. And a closing message to Slim Shady Mods himself. Seeing how egotistical you are, chances are this video won't make you change, but the fact that you heavily exploit mods to get the things you want is a direct reflection of the kind of entitled, narcissistic, and ultimately lonely piece of shit that you are. <laughs> all right, my fault, that was really mean. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right, here's my advice, all right, Slim? At the end of the day, you know deep down that what you do is a coping mechanism to help you try and forget your issues, probably. But you won't forget, because modding isn't going to solve your real life issues or make them go away. And it definitely isn't going to fucking net you that underage girl. My advice, put the video games down for a bit. Give it a break. You can't say shit like haters gonna hate while simultaneously wanting people to apologize for hurting your sensitive feelings. Those are two opposite things. The world doesn't work that way. Work on yourself and learn to stop relying on others to justify your existence. Because at the end of the day, only you truly got you. Let that resonate in your soul every night while you try to sleep. I, I, yo, for real. One last disclaimer. There are good modders out there. I recognize that. Gamer Cheat is one of them chill modders, so don't worry. I don't mean to generalize all modders, just the really toxic ones like Slim. Oh, and if any of y'all cool modders can bless me on Reach with a bunch of corner 2x2s and corner 4x4s along with a bunch of platforms from the bridge section so I can finally finish this map, that would be cool. Alright, good looks and peace out for real this time. I'm over here fucking dying. Sick as fuck. Thirty seconds remaining. Ten seconds remaining. Game over.